Thank you, Christopher. And now in other news. The government says it has earmarked $320 million for the completion of renovation and construction work at the Public Building West to facilitate expansion of the offices of the Director of Public Prosecution. This amount will be used for procurement and installation of standby power generator and accompanying transformer and also to install a fire suppression system and procurement of pumps. This project, which is now before the House of Representatives, is aimed to provide improved court facilities that are conducive to the delivery of the services being provided by the justice sector. The project will result in the expansion of the physical infrastructural capacity of the Supreme Court. And news also that the government says they will be spending another $1.2 billion in the new fiscal year to continue construction of the Montego Bay Perimeter Road. The project aims to create a safe and reliable alternative route for motorists traveling across and within Montego Bay, which will result in less congestion within the city and open up new lands to facilitate structured developments. For the 2021-2022 period, it is anticipated that 80% of land acquisition on the perimeter road will be achieved and that designs will commence and 80% completion will be achieved. Up to December last year, preliminary geotechnical investigations were completed and 2% of land acquisition was completed. The project is being implemented by the National Road Operating and Construction Company, NROC, with funding from the government of Jamaica. It is being run from April 2019 to March 2023. And that's our news package for you tonight. Thank you for tuning into Mellow TV Evening News at 8. I am Tamar McHale. Thanks for watching and keep safe.